Let's talk about your Wi-Fi for a second. Right now, it's probably just humming away in the background, connecting your phone, your laptop, your smart TV. It's easy to forget about it. But what if I told you that for a determined person, breaking into that network isn't some Hollywood fantasy with lines of green code scrolling down a screen? It can sometimes be a matter of minutes, and it's often not because they're geniuses, but because of simple oversights we all make. Most of us think a strong password is the ultimate shield, and it is. But a fortress is only as strong as its back door. And for many routers, there's a feature called WPS. That's the Wi-Fi Protected Setup. It was designed with a great intention to make it easy for you to connect new devices. You know that button on the back of your router you've probably never pressed? That's the WPS button. Instead of typing a long password, you press that button and your device connects. But the way it was implemented created a huge flaw. The pin that WPS uses to authenticate is only eight digits long. That might sound like a lot, but because of the way it's checked, a hacker's computer doesn't have to guess all 100 million possible combinations. In reality, it only has to guess about 11,000 possibilities. So here's how it can happen quickly. A hacker with a basic laptop and a cheap wireless adapter can sit within range of your network in a car out outside, in a nearby apartment, and run a program. This program does one thing. It starts trying every single one of those 11,000 possible pins, one after another. And computers are really, really fast at this. Depending on the router, this process can take as little as four to five hours. Or, for older or vulnerable routers, it can be done in under 15 minutes. Once that program successfully guesses the WPSPIN, the router will happily hand over the actual Wi-Fi password, even if it's 20 characters long with symbols and numbers. The strong front door was completely bypassed because the back door was left unlocked. First, you need to get into your router's settings. This sounds technical, but I promise it's not. Usually, you just open a web browser and type in an address like. The exact address and the login username and password are almost always printed on a sticker on the router itself. Once you're in, you're looking for a section called Wireless Settings or Wi-Fi Settings. Inside that menu, you need to find WPS. It might be a tab or a subsection. Your mission is simple. Find the setting for WPS and disable it. Just turn it off. For 99% of us, we don't use it every day. The very, very occasional inconvenience of having to type your password to connect a new device is a million times better than the risk of someone accessing your entire network. While you're in there, Take two extra seconds to make sure your router's firmware is up to date. Manufacturers often release updates that patch these exact kinds of security holes. Look, the goal here isn't to make you paranoid that a hacker is lurking behind every bush. The goal is to shift from being passive about your security to being proactive. These aren't complicated fixes. They're simple settings, changes that take five minutes, but dramatically increase your safety. You've now taken a big step in understanding how your digital home works, and you've made it a much harder target. That's a win. If this was helpful, and you learned something, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you have friends or family who could use this info, please share it with them. Let's all be a little more secure out there. Thanks for watching.